so what what if you differentiate you will get e power 3x derivative e power 3x is e power 3x into 3 so so minus 1 by 2 is constant take it out integration of cos 2x is minus sine 2x divided into derivative of 2x is 2 what is meant by inspection what if you differentiate you will get the question so what if you differentiate you will get sine 2x if you differentiate if you have more than one function you should write only one constant so final answer x cube by 3 minus x it is in the form numerator by denominator if this is derivatives or if it is differentiation we can use quotient rule Welcome to the session dear students. So in my last class I gave you the basic formulae and today we will go for the exercise problems by inspection method. So I told this is one of the important chapters anti-derivative they are asking you to follow integral by inspection. So inspection means what what if you differentiate you will get sin 2x. So they want you to find integration of sin 2x. The question is integration of sin 2x with respect to x. But the, the method they want inspection. What if you differentiate you will get sin 2x. You have an idea that cos 2x. What is derivative of cos 2x my dear students. d by dx of cos 2x is sin minus sin 2x into derivative of 2x is 2. Do you agree? No, but I want only sin 2x. I don't want 2. So, I will divide it by 2. So, therefore, in my next step, I will take d by dx of cos 2x by 2. I am inspecting. And I don't want minus also. I will introduce minus 2. What is d by dx of cos 2x by minus 2? So, minus 1 by 2 is constant. Take it out. Integration of cos 2x is minus sin 2x into derivative of 2x is 2. So, now if I simplify minus into minus becomes plus sin 2x and 2 2 cancels I am left out with sin 2x means if I differentiate cos 2x by 2 I will get sin 2x what is meant by inspection what if you differentiate you will get the question so what if you differentiate you will get sin 2x if you differentiate cos 2x by minus 2 you will get it so answer is minus 1 by 2 cos 2x or cos 2x by minus 2 I am inspecting. To inspect, you should be strong in differentiation. Differentiation and strong agitra inspect more. I have done inspection. But is this the fair method? No. We have to follow formula method. But they want you to become thorough or they want you to understand the link between differentiation and integration. So, for example, when I, when I started, I told you integration of 1 by x is log x. Why? Because why because if I differentiate log x plus a I will get this. So always you can well, it is indefinite integral always you can put plus c because differentiation of constant is what 0. Next what if you differentiate you will get cos 3x. So by inspection you should find integration of cos 3x dx. Later we will be doing the same problem by substitution same 7.1 I will do by substitution so that the process becomes easier. But now we want to make you understand the link. So, integration of cos 3x dx is a question. How to find antiderivative or integral? Antiderivative or integral both are same. So, means what if you differentiate you will get cos 3x. d by dx of your f of x should give you your question cos 3x. Then what is that f of x? So, do inspection. So, if I want cos, I should differentiate sin. So, I am thinking I will try sin 3x. What is derivative of sin 3x? cos 3x into 3 baratha. Do you agree? Derivative of sin 3x is chain rule. Cos 3x into d by dx of 3x that gives you cos 3x into 3. So that's why I don't want that into 3. So divide it by 3. So now d by dx of sin 3x by 3 gives you cos 3. 1 by 3 is constant. Take it out. Derivative of sin 3x is cos 3x into d by dx of 3x is 3. 3, 3 cancels. You'll get cos 3x. Do you agree? So when I inspect I am getting if I want cos 3x I should differentiate sin 3x by 3. If I differentiate only sin 3x, if I differentiate only sin 3x, I will get cos 3x into 3. But I don't want 3 because my question has only cos 3x. So therefore my f of x, in the place of f of x, the suitable is sin 3x by 3 or 1 by 3 sin 3x. So answer is what? Integration of cos 3x is sin 3x divided by 3. Because if I differentiate this, I will get this plus c. 
see every time you can't sit and do this so we have a method called method of inspection and formula that will apply in coming sessions but they are asking you by inspection so e power 2x they want integration of e power 2x dx what if you differentiate you will get e power 2x so d by dx of f of x should give you e power 2x in the place of f of x trial so first i'll go on developing f of x if i take e power 2x you know what is derivative e power 2x e power 2x into 2 but into 2 is likely so if you want to avoid that 2 divide it by 2 now you can try d by dx of e power 2x by 2 you know 1 by 2 is constant take it out apply d by dx for e power 2x what is derivative e power 2x 1 by 2 into e power 2x into d by dx of 2x is 2 chain rule 2 2 cancels you get e power 2x do you agree so d by dx of e power 2x by 2 if i do i'll get e power 2x so therefore my f of x in the place of f of x i can choose e power 2x by 2 so integration of e power 2x dx is e power 2x by 2 and indefinite integral plus c means differentiation of c is always zero always for indefinite integral even in formula i taught you put what plus c next we have ax plus b whole square so what if you differentiate what d by dx of f of x should give you ax plus b the whole square see you know x power n derivative of x power n is n into x power n minus 1 so differentiation of x power n if you take x power 3 it will become x power 2 so that's why i'll select f of x in the place of f of x i'll select ax plus b whole power 3 see if i differentiate this alone so now i'll trial see this they are asking you to follow inspection method i'll trial i'll differentiate only ax plus b the whole square if i do that whole cube sorry i'll get a chain rule 3 into ax plus b whole power 2 into derivative of ax plus b is a this much i'll get but what are the unwanted terms i don't want 3 i don't want a so i don't want 3 i don't want a because i want only this part so that's why whatever you don't want you divide it 3a now by inspection my f of x is this because power 2 back on right i should differentiate power 3 and if i want to eliminate a and 3 so i should divide by a and 3 so now the answer is you can trial this d by dx of you trial this ax plus b whole cube by 3a you do so you know 3a is constant 1 by 3a is constant take it out derivative of this is what 3 into ax plus b power 3 minus 1 is 2 into derivative of ax is a derivative b is 1 so 3 3 a a cancels you will get this so therefore whatever you selected f of x what is f of x ax plus b power 1 more than that and divided by 3a by inspection integration of ax plus b whole cube with respect to x is ax plus b sorry whole square the question is whole square question is whole square is ax plus b whole cube divided by 3a and always one integral constant plus c you differentiate this whole thing you will get it and I trialed how to trial think power n. So in integration of d by dx of x power n. What is derivative of x power n? n into x power n minus 1. So power should decrease and n we should not get. n we should not get means so power should decrease. So power 1 just it only. Take one more and divide by that same number so that quotient you will not get. That is a method. Next. Sin 2x unit 4 e power 3x unit. So integration of sin 2x you should be very strong in chain rule and differentiation then the process is easy dx so my dear students if i want sin 2x i should differentiate cos 2x you know what is derivative cos 2x minus sin 2x into 2 but i don't want into 2 so divide by 2 i don't want minus so minus and minus 4 is constant not an issue take it out integration of e power 3x so what what if you differentiate you will get e power 3x derivative e power 3x is e power 3x into 3 so e power 3x i don't want into 3 so by 3 plus c by inspection you differentiate rhs you will get so i am thinking what if i differentiate i will get sin 2x derivative cos 2x is minus sin 2x into 2 so i don't want minus so i will multiply minus cos 2x i don't want into 2 so i will divide by 2 that's it next 4 e power 3x again by inspection 
So now from here, 4 into e power 3x plus 1 into dx. What if I integrate, I'll get 4 is constant, take it out. Differentiation of e power 3x is e power 3x into 3. I want, don't want into 3, so by 3. Differentiation of uh, x gives you 1. That's why integration of 1 gives you x plus c. What is derivative of x? 1. So if I want 1, so I'll do that. Again by inspection. So now, simplify this. So if I multiply, see from here, okay, now we are done with inspection. Inspection means what? What if you take and differentiate, you will get from now onwards, we are going by integrals. Find the integrals. Is integrals fair method? No. Is in integrating by inspection fair method? No. It takes a lot of time and trial and you might go wrong also. So formula method is the best method. First memorize the formula and apply. First reduce the problem. Integration of x square. Multiply x square into 1 is x square. x square into 1 by x square becomes 1 into dx. Can I write given problem like this? Now I can write it as integration of x square dx minus integration of 1 dx. So 1 is in the form integration of x power n. In standard functions I taught you what is integration of x power n? x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. So therefore what is integration of x square? x power 3 by 3 minus integration of k dx. What is integration of k dx? Integration of k dx is kx plus c. So it will become integration of 1 dx is 1x and finally plus c. If you have more than one function, you should write only one constant. So final answer x cube by 3 minus x plus c. It is in the form of x power n. What is integration of x power n? x power n plus 1 by n plus 1, 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1. What is integration of k dx? kx, 1x, 1 into x is 1x or x plus constant. Next. Integration of ax squared plus bx plus c. When you have more functions, integrate each. So this can be written as integration of ax squared with respect to x plus integration of second term bx dx plus integration of c dx. All of you know all the alphabets a, b, c are constant except x, y and t. And if you have constant into function, you can take the constant out and integrate the function. So you can take a out and integration x square dx. You can take b out and integrate x dx. And integration of k dx, c dx, constant into x. So a into what is integration of x power n? What is integration of x power n? So integration of x power n dx is x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. And plus c, if you have more than one term, at the end you put plus c, that's what I told. So integration of x square is x cube by 3, plus b is the constant, integration of x is x square by 2, plus c is constant, integration of c is cx, integration of k dx is kx, plus finally integral constant. Or you can write k if you have any confusion, because there are two constants with c. Next. 2x square e power x, integration of 2 into x square dx. In between we have plus, right, plus, integration of e power x dx. So now what is 2? 2 is a number. I taught you all numbers are constants. If you have constant, take it out. So I can write it as 2 into integration of x square dx plus integration of e power x dx. So that is 2 into integration of x square is x cube by 3. Integration of e power x is e power x plus c. So this is the format. Then we have integration of root of x minus 1 by root x the whole square unlike differentiation we don't have chain rule so first simplify the given problem it is in the form a minus b the whole square what is a minus b the whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab so don't integrate first simplify can i write it as root x the whole square plus 1 by root x the whole square minus 2ab 2 into root x into 1 by root x so with respect to what dx now I need to integrate this. If I integrate this, integrate each term. So that will become integration of root x the whole square is x plus 1 by x minus 2 root x root x cancels dx. So now integration of this is integration of x dx plus integration of 1 by x dx minus integration of 2 dx. Each term integrate. Integration of x is x square by 2. Integration of 1 by x is log base e x. Integration of 2 dx is 2x plus c. This is the final answer. A plus B the whole square, A minus B the whole square we applied and we simplified. Now, it is in the form numerator by denominator. If this is derivatives or if it is differentiation, we can use quotient rule. But in integrals, we don't have quotient rule. So, reduce the problem. Simplify it. Root in, in integration of x cube 
बाई एक्स स्क्वायर आई एम स्प्लिटिंग इट प्लस फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर बाई एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर बाई एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स कैन आई स्प्लिट लाइक दिस यू नो इफ यू हैव ए प्लस बी प्लस सी डिवाइडेड बाई टू सपोज कैन यू राइट इट एस ए बाई टू प्लस बी बाई टू प्लस सी बाई टू कैन यू स्प्लिट लाइक दिस सेम थिंग आई एम डूइंग हेयर सो नाउ फर्दर इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स क्यूब बाई एक्स स्क्वायर इज एक्स लाफ एंड एस ए पर एम बाई ए पर एन इज ए पर एम माइनस एन प्लस फाइव टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर कैंसल्स माइनस फोर एक्स स्क्वायर आर फोर इंटू माइनस वन बाई एक्स स्क्वायर लेटेड बी नाउ इंटेग्रेट द फंक्शन सो नाउ इंटेग्रेट ईच टर्म सो इट बिकम इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स माइनस इंटेग्रे सॉरी प्लस फाइव डी एक्स माइनस फोर इंटू इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ माइनस वन बाई एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स बिकॉज माइनस वन बाई एक्स स्क्वायर आई गेव इन द फॉर्मुला लिस्ट सो इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स इज एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टू इट इज इन द फॉर्म एक्स पर एन एक्स पर वन इज वन प्लस वन बाई टू फाइव इज कॉन्स्टेंट इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ फाइव डी एक्स इज फाइव एक्स माइनस फोर इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ माइनस वन बाई एक्स स्क्वायर इज वन बाई एक्स प्लीज रेफर द फॉर्मुला लिस्ट वॉट आई गेव इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ माइनस वन बाई एक्स स्क्वायर इज वन बाई एक्स नौ एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टू प्लस फाइव एक्स माइनस फोर बाई एक्स प्लस सी इज द एंसर नेक्स्ट इन ईच प्रॉब्लम बिफोर वी इंटेग्रेट वी आर रिड्यूसिंग द गिवन प्रॉब्लम टू इंटेग्रेबल फॉर्म माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स मेमोराइज ऑल द फार्मेट्स इन द बिगिनिंग वेन आई स्टार्ट द क्लास वी हैव डन द प्रॉब्लम बाई इंस्पेक्शन मेथड इंस्पेक्शन मीन्स वॉट वॉट इफ यू डिफ्रेंशिएट यूल गेट द आंसर आफ्टर इंस्पेक्शन मेथड वी यूज रेग्युलर फॉर्मुले so now out of uh, 11 problems first five problems we are done by inspection what is inspection anti derivative means what if you differentiate you will get the question and next formula formula method is the best method and sometimes we cannot reduce the given problem to formula then what you should do when you cannot reduce the given problem to formula you have to simplify by a simple technique called method of substitution so in my coming class I'll be guiding you method of substitution. Today, whatever the problems I've done, please become thorough. So today we used only two form, three formulae. One is integration of x power n. What is integration of x power n? X power n plus one by n plus one. And the other one we used integration of minus one by x square. What is integration of minus one by x square? One by x. And we have everything will have plus c. And integration of k dx. What is integration of k dx? K x plus c. This is the basic formula we used in today's class, my dear students. To begin with integrals for the beginners, and to start with this particular chapter to learn, you should do as many problems as possible. Don't leave any worked example of NCERT and exercise problems also. Compare. You do in your method and compare the problem what I am solving and try to gear up. So practice as many problems as possible. Then all other subsequent chapters becomes easy. so i'll see you in my next session but what i expect from you is become thorough with all the formula and today whatever the problems i have done recollect them revise them and become thorough thanks for attending thank you